All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Eminence and Shadow episode eight. In the last episode, we had the people pretending to be Shadow Garden um, break into the school, put up a barrier, meaning that nobody can use their magic, whether Sid still can or not. I mean, he was having definitely having trouble using his magic, um, but uh, I feel like uh, he, he'd still he's still going to be able to use something, or whether not it's just going to be pure physical strength to beat these guys' asses. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he ended up uh, doing a, <laughs> a very dramatic dive in front of them to save the student council president, I believe, thus probably increasing his harem. So um, good for him, uh, not not becoming that background character anymore. Um, yeah, it was very dramatic. I'm um, looking forward to this now, how he, he comes out of this, how he heals, uh, if anybody heals him or if he just, you know, he makes a quick recovery. Um, as he always does. But yeah, overall, very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. This is what every young boy in the world dreams of. The dream of having your school attacked by terrorists. This guy. Everybody else is in shock and he's just like, oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, so now we get to see Sid's thinking on what he's about to do here. Really? Wow, dude. <laughs> Bro, how is this not going to make you a main character? How does, he, how does he come back from this? Who heals him? This is like a fatal wound. Did he just say that? This fucking guy kills me. Oh my god. Imagine saying, I'm dead. Are you just gonna move school now, dude? Like, what is gonna happen here? Yeah, and while they're leading all the students into the auditorium, they're just... Sid's just gonna be like, yep, yeah, I'm just gonna get up and go. <laughs> oh, bro, did he just restart his heart? Or is he restarting his, like, magic circuits? What's happening here? That's fucking sick. He actually just restarted his heart. And it's like an automatic thing. That's awesome. That's crazy! M Bro, so he kept b blood going to his brain without his heart beating? That's nuts! That's so cool, dude. Even with this magic barrier, he can still use that level of magic to stop himself from dying. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're aware, but um, there's a terrorist attack going on right now. Yeah, you're not going to like... Okay. Of course, do you not instantly flinch? I guess it was just... It happened too quick. Shadow Guardian, yeah. Oh yeah, the game of betrayal. They mentioned him, didn't they? Dead. Oh shit, okay. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Let's go. She was quick grabbing that um the the artifact. The way she did. She running in slippers, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess if you don't have your shoes. Oh yeah, Alexia's outside of the school, isn't she? Bro. Main character head ass up on the roof about to fuck everyone up. No sense of aesthetics. <laughs> Yeah, oh, he's got a point, yeah. I agree. Fashion's got to be the right time of day. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, he's just going to kill them all already. But everyone can see you. <laughs> Bro, it's a good job Sid's here. She'd be dead. The main story is progressing. Yes, it is. Oh, 
Sid is just built different. Look at this guy. He even drops like a main character. Oh, she knows the artifact they're using. Interesting. Yeah, he's just following her up the stairs. She's so oblivious. His legs are hanging there too. Bro, this girl. She should be dead. If not for Sid, she would have been dead about three times by now. Just my imagination, girl. Please, you need survival training. Oh my god. Yeah, here's Prince Charming. Saving your ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's no biggie. Yeah, scold her. Rightfully so. She's the main character of this story arc. Oh my god, he's left them hanging? Bro. Ah, interesting. So all you'd need to do is match their magical frequency? So either go tiny or go massive. Bro, that's going to kill everybody. Ah, so it's there somewhere. Okay, I get it. Boom. Probably not as big as the explosion that Sid let off, though. The flying saucer from before. Oh, interesting. Okay. Damn, she knows a lot. That's very helpful. Wreak some havoc as Shadow. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's got a little side quest here. Nice. Don't leave this room. Uh, bro is serious about this. Yeah, Ultron? Okay. Oh yeah, it's fucking Shadow Garden. Y'all be better be ready. I wonder who this guy is. Like, if it's someone we've met before or not. Yeah, just laughing menacingly to himself. Bro is in a horror movie right now. Oh my god! That's gotta hurt. Why are you telling him what he's done? Bro. <laughs> he's already inside of it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Bro, he's beating the brakes off of him. Holy shit. Bro, stop monologuing. You're just going to get beat up more. Is that his arm? Oh my god. I thought. <laughs> oh, I thought that was his arm. Oh my god, is this everyone he's killed? <laughs> That's so dramatic. Oh my god, Sid. Damn, he died? Fuck. Are they both dead or not? Maybe he's just knocked out. Oh. <laughs> Were they going to kill him? What, really? Oh, yes. Everybody's here. Nice. Oh, yeah. The friggin' uh, slime costumes are coming undone because of the magic. Yeah, with the ass shots. <laughs> okay, so Gamma's not much of a fighter then. Yeah, they're just squabbling out here while people are dying. Bro definitely did not just did not listen to anything she just said. You made it sound so easy. It's easy for him because somebody else is doing it. <laughs> so this guy is someone that she was gonna go she was going to marry. Y'all haven't done fucking anything. <laughs> Literally, you've just been standing there, 
being diplomatic and shit. Damn, I guess we gotta wait to the next episode to see this pop off. Alright, so that was The Eminence in Shadow, episode 8. Very good little episode there. It was hilarious uh, seeing kind of Sid's reaction to what was actually happening in the school. And he's building it like a main story mission, which is funny. Um, he's, he believes that uh, the pink-haired girl is the main character in this. Um, which, I, I get what he's saying. Like, it, he's playing it like a video game mission. Um, and he's he's like basically the sidekick to her. Um, even though he's in the shadows, just uh, making, she, making sure she doesn't die several times, you know? So, um, yeah, it's going to be good once we uh, sort out this barrier. It's going to be awesome to see Sid pop off against this Ultron-looking motherfucker. Um, but, yeah, overall, very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.